Welcome to Automate Now. I'm Marco Cruz. In this video, I'll talk to you about Java's marker interface. Let's dive in. And before we can discuss what a marker interface is, we must talk about what an interface is. So to define an interface in Java, we simply say interface. And we give our interface a name. So here I have a lottery winner interface. An interface will typically contain methods. So let's define a method in here. We're going to call it method one. And this method will contain no body. So a method in an interface will not contain a body. Any classes implementing this interface will be required to implement this method as well. And let's go ahead and create one of those classes. We're going to say class, class A, implements. This class will implement this interface over here. So we're going to say lottery winner. And since class A is implementing the lottery winner interface, class A will be required to implement this method as well. So here we're going to have method one and this method will contain a body here. So we will, we will define a body in this method. So we can use interfaces in Java to define any prerequisites that any classes should implement. So for example, this interface right here is saying that this method is required for any class implementing this interface. This class A is implementing that interface, therefore it is required to have this method right here. And now that we understand what an interface does, let's go ahead and get rid of this right here. We're going to remove this method from this interface. Now, this is a blank interface. There is nothing inside of the body of this interface. Therefore, this class right here will not be required to implement anything. Now, let's define one other class. We're going to say class, class B. This class will not implement that interface. So here we have an interface that contains no body. This is known as a marker interface. Then we have a class which implements that marker interface. We have another class which does not implement that interface. Now, why would we want to do this? The main reason for using marker interfaces is to give classes that implement those interfaces special privileges. So this class A right here is going to have special privileges because it implements this lottery winner interface. Whereas this class B does not implement that interface and will not have the same privileges that class A has. Let's have a look at a coding example. And here we have a class called custom marker interface. And let's go ahead and create an interface in this class. So I can define an interface anywhere in this class. And this is going to be the marker interface. We're simply going to say interface. The name of the interface will be lottery winner. We won't be declaring any methods inside of this interface. That's what makes it a marker interface. Now let's go ahead and define some classes. We're going to create a class called player A. This class will implement the marker interface. We're going to have another class. We're going to call this one player B. This class, on the other hand, will not implement the lottery winner interface. Now let's go to this public class over here. And let's go ahead and add the main method. We're going to say PSVM to add the public static void main. And here I'm going to create a new instance of the player A class. So I'm going to say player A, let's call it player, is equal to new player A. Then I'm going to say if player, and here we're going to use the Java keyword called instance off. And recall that this checks to see if an object is an instance of a given class. So we want to check if player A is an instance of the lottery winner class. Then we're going to do a print statement. We're going to say s out. And here we're going to say congratulations. You won a million dollars. Otherwise, we're going to use an else statement over here. We're going to have a message that's going to say better luck next time.
Now let's walk through what's going on here. So this main method right here creates an instance of the player A class. Then we're checking to see if this player object is an instance of the lottery winner interface. Since the player A class implements the lottery winner, it is therefore an instance of the lottery winner interface. So this will return true and we will print this message right here. Otherwise, we're going to print this message over here. And what we're doing here is giving this player A a special privilege because they have won a million dollars. Let's go ahead and run this. And we get congratulations, you won a million dollars. Now let's see what happens when we use player B instead. So here I'm going to replace this with the letter B. The same thing over here. Now obviously this player object will no longer be an instance of the lottery winner class because player B does not implement the lottery winner interface. And we should see this message instead. Let's run it. And we see better luck next time. And as we can see, this marker interface is giving any class that implements that interface special privileges. And in this example, we have created our own marker interface. But Java has some of its own marker interfaces. For example, we can use implement over here and say remote. This is a marker interface right here. If I control click on this, notice that this interface contains no body. Another example of this is the clonable interface. Let's control click on this one. And notice that this is also a marker interface. Another one is called serializable. This is also a marker interface. And again, each of these interfaces right here will give the classes that implement them special privileges. Thanks so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.